became pretty splashy. Partly he was in aggression. Was I think in a lot of ways we're pretty damaged. And um, perhaps in future generations, the angst and all of the fucked up stuff that creates a lot of the weird shit will be a thing of the past. I came out within a month of um, receiving a diagnosis for bone cancer. I think there's a couple of times where I've been high and haven't used the condom. Uh, I was sitting there and I saw this uh, waitress and two ladies or women sitting at the table. She started screaming at them with joy and wonder. And I couldn't understand it. So I said to her, what's going on? And she said, well, there are men in drag. And I didn't understand that. It was really shocking for me. But also, I was attracted to the idea. So they left, I followed them. You always need to spend more money to go to the gym, to, you know, as aspire to these clothes, to aspire to this body and stuff like that. So it just keeps generating money. You know, for some people, being a bear means having a belly. For others, it's having fur. For others, it's, um, I don't know, being yeah. a muscle, muscle bear. The same thing in the leather community. I'm like, some of them are, are going to be old school who really adhere to the protocols and honestly the protocols are great because they survived at a time where there was nothing. I was gonna go for plastic surgery this year to have more not cosmetic looking to make it look better but to make my the movement from the surgery made it tight. Well, I know these lesbians in Toronto called the Fat Femme Mafia. They do a lot of about weight and body weight. I would probably say that you have to keep that politic. You need to just know you're right and just get on with it. And if you do that, then things will happen. Oh, this is immaterial. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter whether you believe in bears, whether you believe in homosexuality, whether you believe in any of this is true. What matters is the experience. So I decided I wanted to live, which was, I'm thankful for. I always think of bear as drag. I'm... 